Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today's record is Old Butterface. So let's get started. Old Butterface. The bear and the fox had one day bought a tub of butter together. They planned to save it for Christmas, and so they hid it until then under a thick bush. Hiding it was the fox's idea. Uh, you see, old bear? Yes. Here, uh, nobody will find it. No. And we, uh, we won't have it constantly out to uh, tempt us, you know? Oh, so that's right. It's think, very tempting. I think I'll just leave it here. Oh, we'll we'll just have here. a little lift. Oh. Uh, leaving it under the thick bush oh, right here. All right. We're going to save it. You're right. always full of good ideas, yes, thank Foxy. You. Thank you very much. After hiding the butter, they walked a little way and lay down on a sunny bank to sleep. Well, they lay there for a while, and soon the bear began to snore loudly. When the fox was absolutely sure that the bear was sound asleep, he quietly got up, shook himself, and said, Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes. And he ran straight for the top and ate a good third. This took him some time, but since he was in no hurry, he enjoyed himself thoroughly. Ah, oh, yeah, oh. When the fox returned, the bear asked him a few questions. Hi, hey, are you? Where have you been? Out hunting. There are no feathers round your pointy little face, but your tummy's all filled out. So you've had something to eat. You didn't perhaps find some honey lying about? Uh, no. No, I'm sorry, Bear. No. Uh, I was invited to a, um, a friend's home. No? Uh, it was a christening feast. Like it was. So would you believe that? At a christening feast? Yeah. And what may I ask? Was the name chosen for the child? Um, just begun. Just, just begun, yeah. Begun. Strange what they're naming kids these days. My real name is Clancy Clearclaws Magoo. A right proper name. Oh, yeah. Can I just call you Bear? Sure. Oh. Most folks do. Okay. Then they lay down to sleep again. In a little while, the fox jumped up and bumped his chest again. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Yes, 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 again. Oh. This time, he ate even more butter. When he came back, the bear looked at him with curiosity. Oh, my uh, dear, a little restless today, aren't we? And you're looking quite plump, too. Uh, oh, yeah, well, um, it's been, uh, it's been a lucky day. Uh, we went off to uh, another one of them uh, christening feasts. Another? Uh, yeah, yeah. Almost forgot about it, or did. Well, uh, maybe you should get an appointments book. But I thought you had a wonderful memory. Oh, uh, yeah, for some things I do. Funny, uh, isn't it? Tell uh, me, funny. tell me, what was the name chosen for this child? Uh, half eaten. Half eaten. Oh, definitely half. Oh, it's quite an unusual name for them. They lay down once more to sleep. But only a few minutes passed before the fox jumped up once more and ran off, muttering happy things to himself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. But, oh, it tastes so much better after one's had a bit. Oh, and had a bit more. Oh, oh, I shall, uh, I shall lick and 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 for to be fat and full and tricking someone all at the same time, this was the fox's idea of living. When the fox returned, the bear looked up at him wearily. Don't tell me, don't tell me the whole story. Just the name of the baby. Ah, uh, uh, all lit up. All lit up. Sounds Arabic. Hmm. Sounds like something else, too. Let's go have a look at our tub. So off they went to look at their butter tub, which of course was empty. The bear 
Bear blamed the fox. It's you. You've done it. I'm down. No, no, no. You've done it. No, no, no. I've done it. I can tell you got a guilty feeling. No, never. Oh, I've never done anything. I didn't know. Speaking around everybody. No, 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 I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, you did it, you must have done what? it while I was asleep, somebody had to have done it, me, it's I all, mean, I. it's all gone, it's all gone and it well, must have, well, I've been asleep, oh, too bad, I've been asleep all the time, so, well, so I sweet. was asleep too, oh, I'm sorry, each oh. one claimed the one had eaten the butter while the other was sleeping, no problem to protect the criminal, I don't have to do it, stop all this arguing back and forth, We'll just lay down in the sunshine, see? And he whose cheeks and lips are greasiest when we wait, he, uh, he must be the thief. Do you well, understand? It's, uh, fine with me. I haven't done anything. I'm not guilty. I'm well, we'll guilty. see about that, won't we? We'll see about that when you wake up. I mean, oh, oh no, I didn't do anything. Oh, uh, 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 lay down. And with that, he lay down to sleep. The fox stole off to the tub and rubbed a leaf all inside it. Then he crept back to the bear and greased his lips and cheeks with the butter on the leaf. Then he too lay down, as if nothing had occurred. When they both woke, the sun had melted the butter and the bear's whiskers were frightfully greasy. Oh, looks like your whiskers are very greasy, old bear. Oh, oh you're right. I can feel it. I guess it was me, and no one else that ate that butter. I must have been, yeah. But, you know, I don't remember it. Do you think I might have been sleepwalking? Oh, could be, yeah. I think perhaps you were just uh, sleepwalking around, you know, getting a bit restless or something. Uh, I'll just better keep a better eye on you, I know, next time, and lead you back to bed. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Fox. Oh, it's nothing. You're it's a true pound. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm glad we got the whole thing sorted out. And so the bear never thought of the incident again until he and the fox bought a jar of lard together. So that was Old Butterface. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And we'll have another video coming out real soon. And the next bracket will be... Beauty, uh, Beauty and the Beast.